Welcome to Madison and Camp Randall Stadium. Always rowdy, always ready to support the Badgers. They've been getting ready for this game since the early morning. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking in the snake bit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Missouri Tigers, taking on the winners of three straight, the Wisconsin Badgers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. This Missouri offense is moving quickly down the field. I should have moved this tight end on this side. Strong side. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. Chris, if I'm not mistaken, this guy's already over 30 yards on the opening drive of this game. Another nice play right here. Why do I go this way? Don't ask me. keep feeding him the football. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And they stop him just short, but the defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier. And he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. He <laughs> it in for the score. Touchdown, Missouri. That's one of the more impressive drives that I've seen in a long time. They did not throw the football. And this running back got behind that big offensive line. Yeah, we played Wisconsin version of football. Gave them a taste of their own medicine. And then finally into the end zone. That is very discouraging for this defense. It's this elite pass rusher. Very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket. And also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Man, they push me all the way out the way. There, but get nothing. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Yeah. It's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's Look, I'm still fighting. That, it's a bit risky. <laughs> you can leave your defensive backs out there on islands. But the good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. So, Kurt. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. 
Really sound defense on that play. On the offense getting set up. Here's second down. And the quarterback drops back, looking for... Ah, uh, he didn't change routes. Looks toward the sideline, finds the running back. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. The running back at that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. The quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Come on, man. He's standing right next to him, bro. Come on. Quit with the bullshit, bro. Bullshit, man. Shouldn't have to call it over and over and over. The throw. It's Cook. Slags a quick throw. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. I don't blame the quarterback here. You get to third down with the catch radius that this tight end has. Give it to him every single time. Now it's first and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. Second and goal for the offense. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers. Standing right next to him, bro. Stop the bullshit. Second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Madison. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. the Badgers offense back out on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. They bring it down to the ground. One wrong five. button. Well, this is exactly where you find out what you're made of as a team. When you're trailing, coming out of the half, how do you respond? Well, we know how this running back's going to respond. What a statement to get this second half started. The Badgers come to the line in the hurry up. QB decides to keep it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme okay, throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. The hell? Solid game. Luke's the hell is like that wasn't supposed to be happening. It. Urgency now for the offense. They hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. To the air. It's Van Dyke. Defense is coming after him. Yeah. Got him. He's sacked. Yeah, that was stupid. Y'all like offensive coordinator. Squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice He's tired. Why didn't y'all sub him up? Keeping it on the ground here. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime.
to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. In the red area, it's Carroll. And that run produces a decent game. Get the clock to run out. Ah, it may run out. Two to three minutes. And as we take a break, take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up in the chase for those playoff positions. Yeah. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. A big play here after the break. Offense trying to convert here on third down. Try and muscle for the first down. He'll be brought down just a few inches short of that first down marker. Well, this guy did everything that he could to try to get to that first down marker. It looks like he's just going to be inches short, and it's decision time for the offensive coordinator and head coach. I forgot, even if I run the clock down, it ain't going. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Okay, right? Less than a yard to go here on fourth down. The offense is going to go for it. hand it off fighting off the tackler he's brought down at the six the offense will have first and goal right there you know sometimes Chris we get caught up in the speed and the quickness and obviously those are important assets to have as a running back but what you just Andre. saw from this guy and he's had a pretty good day is his ability to break tackles in the open space and he gets through those arm tackles you can see what he's capable of doing after being able to shake free with the speed that he has here's the handoff on first and goal couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Bites his way in for the score. Touchdown, Missouri. And it's just a thing of beauty to watch this offense. That's it's boring. Touchdown. But, <laughs> but it's effective. They're getting enough of a push to give him some room to show you what he can do with that space. No press coverage. The DB's backing up now. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Makes the grab. It's Anthony. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Looking to throw yet again. Grab behind the line. It's Malusi. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. They beat the blitz there with the pressure bearing down because he just dumped it off to the back. That nice job of just keeping his eyes downfield. Come on, bro! Got to him in a hurry. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. It's second and goal now, back from the 14-yard line. Dropping back. It's been Why is he acting so stupid with my rush? And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Receiver in motion now. Third and goal will try to run it in. He's sworn by the defense. Fourth down now. Time for perhaps one more play before we hit the two-minute warning. And we've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Maybe a final chance to get on the scoreboard here. This is fourth and goal. That's bullshit, bro. Touchdown, Wisconsin. He's not even recognizing me changing, doing my damn audibles now, man. And that's just stupid with my damn pass rush. 
Every time I get her, it stunts me outside for some damn reason. I'm up here controlling them. Let me control the motherfucker. Why y'all moving them for me? Let's face it, this guy's as good as anybody in the country. Big time playmaking ability, but they've taken him out of the game. I think it's a big reason that they have a nice lead. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Play action fake, looking to throw. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Looks like the offense able to recover it there. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Why am I so slow, bro? Come on, man. Quit playing, Defense bro. Able to stop him. It's fourth down now. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Why? Why is nobody back there, yo? And he scores. Touchdown, Badgers. This offense is done. This is some bullshit. You see, like... Again, go back and watch the shit, bro. When he hiked the ball, it had my guy do a damn stutter move before he got off the fucking line for no damn reason. I press for them to play back. I press to cover deep. What the fuck is it? Man, yo, this bullshit, bro. Maybe trying to confuse the line with some movement. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. In the final minute here, you'd expect them to take a knee and just secure the victory. But will they? And the single back takes the handoff. Gets free now, heads into the secondary. Tackle made after a big game. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there, the left side. Great blocking on the left side, able to create a great push. Nice crease in the back, found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. And then first down, they go right back to him. Now, of course, we get a hold. The tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Takes the handoff and he'll head left. Got a lane. Can he get in? I was trying to line up with the damn tight end. He couldn't catch up with him. And a timeout taken by the offense. 18 seconds on the clock. First and goal. If they play this right, they can pretty much put the game on ice. Now, nah, for some reason, they be having their asses. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. And he powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. Well, this head coach told us we prepared well. We're ready. I'd be shocked if we didn't go out and play well. And he had a good read on his team. That's a big win. This team was incredibly well prepared and schematically. I liked a lot of the bullshit ass game, bro. How the defense was attacking them. Sometimes games can be won and lost thanks to a good game plan. And we saw how it made a big difference today. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. I could have called prevent once they did the onside kick, but still, when I press for them to all drop back, I noticed that they didn't all drop back, and then I pressed for them to cover deep. And motherfuckers ain't doing that.
That's why I hate like it'll let the computer change the plays as whenever the fuck they want. But when you want to change the damn plays, it doesn't do that. It doesn't recognize your button press. You got to press the shit multiple times. It's always been like that. I ain't gonna say always, but it's been like that for a long time, man. And it's so fucking annoying, bro. How many fucking pass yards they end up getting? Bullshit, bro. There's really only one damn player. Look at this motherfucker, 11 for 14. And we couldn't pick up. Well, they fumbled twice. We couldn't pick up either one either. 